In the last of the operations on <clears throat> setting blend mode, we're just going to take a couple of steps to uh, clarify where things are on the iPad. So setting blend mode on an object. On the layers panel, expand the object on the layers panel, and that's that one there. Find our appropriate, there's the objects blend modes, and that's the one we're working on. Expand that out, expand the blend mode, then the fisherman layer, that's the fisherman there, and the body group, and select the arm shadow. There's the body group there. And we want the arm shadow. That's that one there. And that's just that little shadow under his arm. Let me see if I can make that a bit larger. You can see that shadow under the arm there. Select multiply or any other blend mode from the blend mode pop-up menu. Now, how do we find that, do you remember? We're in the arm shadow. It's not that one, is it? It's up there. Now, we want to select, not normal, but multiply. There's multiply there. Now you can see that down there. It's, it's slightly less dark. If I redo that, it's set the blend mode. Now it's set to 60% in the opacity arm shadow and it's set to multiply. We can change that slightly as we did before. That's 84%. See how taking it right down sets it to almost invisible. Now was it 64? Let's leave it at 75. So how did I do that again? Just to step through it. Layers. It was on normal, but we wanted to put it on multiply and change set the opacity to 74 so the shadow under the arm is darker now the setting the blend mode as part of an effect that that was setting blend mode on an object as part of an effect let's try something different in the book on the layers panel expand the eyes group and i1 group and then select eyeball so on the layers panel Is the fisherman body group close the body group because we did the underarm one remember now we're looking for the eyes group select I1 group I1 and select eyeball I'll have to move that out to that side so we can see it there's eyeball selected Now check the layer effects. We've got that selected. Layer effects. Now we don't want normal. Select inner glow from the blend mode. Oh, well, we don't want that, do we? leave it at normal because what we want is effects and we want inner glow now inner glow is selected now that inner glow is selected we can go back to the blend mode and select multiply now that's changed that completely to green Did you recall how we did that? It's normal. Multiply. 
normal multiply but the effects mode remember is in a glow and we've multiplied it which completely changes its color that's undone and it's back to how it normally was shall we say and that's all there is to that to and we'll call that 2.7 and that's the last of the blend mode um, experiments, shall we say.